Hi everyone, Christian here, and I'm going to break down Filipino movies across all genres. I created this series for people who just want to know the story and don't have time to watch the whole movie. But I want you to watch the movie first before proceeding with the breakdown because this video contains a whole lot of spoilers. So, in this list, I based it on a web article of fiction file of their 21 best films of all time from Philippine cinema. I give all the credits to them for making this list. If you want to check their website, there is a link in the description. With that out of the way, let's proceed with what this movie is. Oda Sa Wala or Ode to Nothing released in 2018 is written and directed by Dwayne Baltasar. It's a story of an embalmer who lives a life with no friends and tries to save their home from a mortgage. And out of nowhere, her luck begins to change when two men left a dead old lady in their funeral home or her house. She starts to talk to the dead lady and treating her as their family. Is she a piece of good luck to their family or just a dead body with nothing but misfortune? So, if you want to know all the main points of every scene and why this is one of the best films in the Philippines of all time, well, let's go ahead and break down Oda Sawala or Ode to Nothing. It starts in a calm and peaceful evening night. We hear some Chinese folk song, Mo Li Hua, over and over again. And cut to this woman, her name is Sonia and she is the embalmer. You know, it's those nights where we just want to lay in bed before going to sleep and relax and just listen to some good music. This scene is trying to portray that. Then we see someone turn the lights off. You think it's some ghost, but no, he will know who that was so. Sonia turns the lights on again and goes back to bed but her cassette tape is broken. So she just goes to sleep and then the title screen. The morning after that, we see Sonia fixing her cassette tape while his father is having a breakfast. And yes, he is the one who turns the light off from before. So after his father done eating his breakfast, Sonia immediately cleaned the table and watched some funeral procession being held outside their house. Then after that, Sonia begins to fix herself and proceed to open her funeral home or service shop. Who knows? I don't know what's that called in English. Let me know in the comments down below. We see here how boring and lonely this place is. So Sonia fell asleep but was startled by a passerby who sells taho or soy pudding. The night after that, we see them already finish their dinner while her father grabs some food to offer to their deceased mother who is gone before this movie starts while Sonia cleans the dishes. Then the morning after that, we see Sonia adjusting the TV antenna when she saw a woman already gone to her store. So she goes ahead and talks to that woman. The woman is trying to negotiate with Sonia for their deceased family member. Well, the woman is trying to haggle the price Sonia is trying to deal with this woman. So, the woman declined the offer of Sonia because she thinks that Sonia disrespects their deceased family by adding some more dead people so that the price is right. Then we cut to this scene where Sonia rides a jeepney. She tries to give her fare but nobody is helping her to pass the fare to the driver. It feels like everybody is ignoring her. After that, she went home noticing some truck with their furniture. So she immediately confronts the man behind this. His name is Theodore. He is a usurer. He takes some furniture because Sonia couldn't pay him in time. So. Before they take the piano, Sonia took a photo underneath the piano and they proceed to leave with the piano. The night after that, Sonia inserts the photo in front of the glass of her wardrobe. That picture I guess is their family picture or the picture with her mother. Anyway, someone knocking on their gate to dispose of some dead old lady. And these two men tells her to don't tell anyone who delivered the dead body to her. So she accepts it also with money. Next, we transition to the dead old lady's face to this. <laughs> no, this is not the old lady. Sonia is just frying some tocino. Then we get a close-up look of Sonia trying to know what to do with that old lady. Later that afternoon, Sonia tries to drink some coffee when she was suddenly shocked by the falling arm of the old lady. So she asked one more time to shock her by someone knocking on her door. So it is a customer. That customer made a huge deal to her so she earned a lot of cash just for one customer. Later that evening, Sonia thinks that the dead lady is doing some miracles or some good luck to her. So 
The next morning, Sonia and her father having their typical breakfast when suddenly, Sonia tries to bite the ho. She tries to scream for the vendor to come back because the vendor gives some excessive change to Sonia. Then, we cut to the scene of Theodore taking all the earnings of Sonia. He is pure evil here, but without him, this movie wouldn't make any sense. He also tells Sonia to try and curse everybody in the village so that she can earn more money. Sonia just asks when she can get the title of their house, but Theodore's answer to that is like, never. Because he blatantly said to her that she can get the title if she can learn how to curse people. I hate him. <laughs> so anyway, later that evening, Sonia talks to the dead lady asking if there are more surprises for her. And she also says that the money Theodore takes is for their bills. So she again asks one more time if there are more surprises. Guess what? Right after she closes the store, somebody knocks. It is a customer again. Sonia made the deal and proceeds to do the job. So after that, Sonia thinks that all of this customer is because of the dead lady. So she gives thanks for that. In the next scene, we see Sonia and his father already ate their dinner. Sonia is doing some paperwork while his father is again offering food to their deceased mother. The morning after that, Sonia again bought some taho from this dude. She likes him, by the way. So she tries to make a move by lighting her cigarette but is immediately interrupted by a child to buy taho, of course. Sonia is kinda pissed. Next, we introduce that the taho vendor's name is Elmer. The next scene is Sonia trying to explain to the dead lady that she fixed the grandfather of Elmer and that, and that Sonia likes him. After that, she proceeds on manicuring the dead lady and asks her what is her name, but suddenly someone knocks on their door to check if Sonia found their mother. But it's not their mother, so they just leave a picture of their mother and leaves. Later that night, Sonia makes a move but before that she needs to make sure that her father is done eating so she can deliver the dead lady to her bedroom. After delivering the dead lady, they talk to each other and listen to the music Sonia loves to play all the time. Wait, did I just say talk to each other? A dead person cannot speak. <laughs> Sonia says that his father doesn't know that she is afraid of the dark. That's why she likes to open the lights before going to sleep. Now that she has somebody by her side, she's not afraid anymore. Even if it's a dead person. A dead person, Sonia. Come on. Back to the movie. The morning after that, Sonia awoken while his father is staring at the dead lady. Sonia didn't explain to his father. His father just rushes to his room to find some clothes for her. Kinda weird but her father likes what Sonia is doing. They change the clothes and leave the dead lady lay on Sonia's bed. Then after that, his father looked for some wood while Sonia buys a taho but again missed an opportunity to interact with Elmer. Momentarily, Elmer got hit by something so Sonia tries to help him by treating his wound. Then ask if he remembered the face, the plate number, and how much money he lost. Elmer said that the commander is going to kill him. Let me give you an idea of what the commander for a man to say in the Philippines. The term commander is the wife. But Sonia didn't know that so she kisses him right before Elmer tries to say who the commander is. The next morning, Sonia's father wakes Sonia to tell her that she needs to see something. Do you remember his father gathering some woods before? Yes, he creates something so that they can move the dead lady to different parts of their home. While eating, they talk to each other, also with the dead lady to talk about Sonia's upcoming birthday. This scene is wholesome for some reason because they treat her as their own family even if she's dead. So after that, a customer knocks on their door so Sonia immediately goes to downstairs to entertain the customer even if she hasn't finished her meal. Next, we transition to this scene of Sonia doing her job as an embalmer. Then later that night, Sonia is fixing the dead lady while talking to her, of course, about how the dead lady changed her life when she came to their house. Like she doesn't feel alone anymore and her father now talks to her. She said that the last time her father talked to her is when her mother died. After some talking with his father, they lay the dead lady in front of their mother's altar. The morning after that, Sonia is riding a jeepney, then his friend Elmer rides too. So she asks Sonia if she already paid the driver. Sonia says no, so Elmer pays the fare in favor of helping him before and for her birthday. Or you know if you have a friend that you saw while riding, it's like an automatic favor for your friend to pay for their fare. 
as a Filipino. <laughs> anyway, back to the movie. Sonya is home telling the dead lady what happened with him and Elmer. It was her doing. Her father responded that as yes. So Sonya goes to play the song she likes to play to celebrate her birthday. So they sing and dance and enjoy the rest of the day. Like the movie already ended. So the next scene is where all things go downhill for them. You will know why. So, Sonya dressed so nicely for all the possible customers, but nothing showed that day. She even said to the dead lady that it's been a week that she doesn't have any customers. She is now blaming the dead lady. They are having some conflict, and Sonya also thinks that the dead lady is angry with her. So, the day after that, it was all just misfortune, day by day for Sonya. Until... Theodore shows up again to collect money from the interest of the title of their house and warns Sonya that next week is his next arrival so she needs to pay it full or else he can now get their house. The night after that, Sonya talked to the dead lady by asking for help then the next day, her father asks her if she has some misunderstanding with the dead lady. So, Sonya begins to act rude to his father and later continues her work while not knowing some customer is bringing some dead person. But that dead person is her friend, Elmer. While his wife is nagging, Sonya can contain her feelings and also act rude to Elmer's wife. Later that night, Sonya again talked to the dead lady about instead of giving her customer, she gave a dead Elmer. <laughs> You know, this is the only time Sonya knows that Elmer has a wife. After that, Sonya begins to become angry with the dead lady for bringing misfortune for her. She even said that she's not like that before. Her father also interrupts her because she is being disrespectful to elders. So his father says to Sonya to deliver the dead lady to his room. Later that evening, Sonya is singing while crying and her father is comforting the dead lady. Then the morning after that, a customer talked to Sonya and revealed a picture of the dead lady. But Sonya refused to say that the old woman is with her and that they will now close within a month. After that, Sonya tries to find some money because they need to pay less than a week to Theodore. When Sonya stumbles to the dead lady, she confronts her about why is someone looking for her. Sonya thinks that the dead lady is trying to leave her. The next scene shows Sonya is finding some money and gets shocked because the dead lady is behind her. I think that Sonya is beginning to hallucinate about things that cannot be explained or can be explained. She also gives thanks to the dead lady because she thinks that she's not leaving her ever again. After that, while raining, Sonya dug deep in their backyard only to find some plastic bag full of cash. I guess the dead lady tells it to her. So she laughs so hard because they can now finally pay for the title of their house. After that, Sonya washed the dead lady and injected some chemicals into her body. And the morning after that, while Sonya and her father are staring at each other, they hear a knock on their door. So they hide the body, the dead body, because Theodore is there to collect the full payment from Sonya. Theodore already smells a foul odor of the dead lady until Sonya reveals herself to show Theodore the full payment. But when Theodore checked the bag, it's all just papers torn into pieces. Sonya tries to convince Theodore that it is real cash, but Theodore became angry and loses his patience and just point a gun. Sonya tries to give her body to Theodore, but Theodore doesn't like that so Sonya is left there only to be angry with the dead lady. Later that evening, her father buried the dead lady and the next morning they have their final breakfast and pack their things and leaves the house because they couldn't pay any more to Theodore. The movie ends when they are traveling somewhere in town. Then the car they use broke right beside the forest and Sonya again hallucinates for the dead lady. So she follows her to the forest only to find the dead lady right behind her. And the end. So hold it right there. Wow, this movie is something. It is like a mixture of different genres packed into one. The title is owed to nothing, but the story is something. Sonya believes in something, but it turns out to be just nothing. You cannot hope for something to a dead person. It turns out that's what Sonya did. A dead person never really speaks back to you. But if there is something spiritual or psychological means is happening, you can turn nothing into something. Sonya lives a lonely life so to cope with this nothingness in her life, she welcomes the dead lady until she dies. But hey, that's just my view of this movie. I'm really happy that I watched this only to find the gem in its beauty.
Yes, I think this fits the category of one of the best films in the Philippines of all time. Thank you, Dwayne, for making this movie. Well, that's it for the breakdown. See you guys again in the next one. Ingat!